alleged bully, Hiro Mikashiba, turns up dead. There is no mistaking the motive in his murder. As Yagami looks into the heart of the matter, a suicide four years prior, he is met with brutal backlash from the underworld. Why does Yagami face resistance at every turn? As night falls over Ichincho, the answer slips further into darkness. Yes, we have grief counselors on site. Hello. You've reached yes. Serio High School. Ah, uh, yes. Right. It's tragic news. Mm -hmm. Miko Shibakun was one of our student teachers here, and the school is coping with it as best okay. we can. Of course. Yes, our parents and guardians have every right to be upset about this. Yes. Oh, yes. We're, now we're to the murder victim found in Izazaki Ijingsho. Yes. Authorities announced that they have identified the body as Hiro Mikoshiba, a student teacher at Seiryo High School. Autopsy reports indicate the cause of death was blood loss from a sharp object. Mikoshiba was reported oh. as a missing person two months ago. So, what's the plan today, fellas? Honest, this hangover is kicking my ass. I'm gonna be kind of useless. Uh, maybe don't drink until sunrise. That's no good. Without you, Kaito-san, who's going to be the brains of this whole operation? <laughs> You'll have to manage, man. I figure I'll head back to Serio High today. I should check in on Sawa-sensei, see how she's holding up. She's got a lot on her shoulders now, huh? Pretty teacher like her doesn't deserve it. Right from the outset, Sawa-sensei flat-out denied that Mikoshiba ever bullied Toshiro Ahara. But then we learned she confronted him about his actions four years ago. Which means she was starting to suspect he was the bully. Then some chicken shade shows up, makes some threats, and suddenly teacher's lips are sealed shut, huh? Whoever she was, she has to be involved with the murder. How else could she have Mikoshiba's picture from right before he died? It's almost like the killer was trying to hide any trace of bullying. And if so, that's pretty bizarre. Why is that? I mean, if Mikoshiba really was the bully, why bother covering that up? Wouldn't it work in their favor if word of that spread? That way the murder would be, I don't know, more justified? Yeah, I do see the logic there. Okay. But what gets me is, why would Sawa-sensei change her answer like that? Have you considered she may have been pressured to hide the truth? Perhaps by an overcautious superior? I wouldn't put it past Chairman Okuda to pull something like that. I doubt he has that kind of sway over her, though. Sawa-sensei doesn't exactly mince words with him. Guess we'll have to ask her directly if we really want to know. Yeah, but didn't she make it pretty clear you need to keep your distance? What kind of a detective would I be if I gave up because of that? <laughs> Point taken. Well, is there anything I can do to help? Oh, sure is. Help me kick this damn hangover. Say what? Might as well hang back, Sugira. Only I can get in and out of the school without raising a red flag right now.
Excuse me, Yagami-san? Huh? Kota-san, what's up? Did a teacher call you over? Actually, I wanted to talk to you. Okay. I saw it on the news earlier. Mikoshiba-sensei was killed. But you already knew that, didn't you? Yeah. <sighs> I figured you knew something. Yes, that's why you've been asking about him. You should have told us, man. I couldn't. I knew how hard you guys would have taken it. You know who did it? I mean, a lot for us to know. Seeing how he looked after us and all. We're still in the dark about that, mostly. Unless you guys have any leads. All we have to go on is he was probably killed soon after he stopped going to class. So... He really was murdered. He said on TV it took them two months to find the body. Could that mean it happened on the day he went missing? A good theory, Matsun, but you're starting to sound like one of those mystery club geeks. Oh, what did Sawa-sensei tell you? She give you anything solid? Nah, we didn't really get into it yesterday. Way too many, uh, other things came up. Damn. It's just... It's hard hearing all this, man. Will you at least keep us posted if you find out anything? No promises, I'm afraid. But hey, I'm glad you guys are warming up to me. I'm Matsui, by the way. That's more like it. Could you keep me in the loop, too? I didn't like Mikoshiba-sensei much, but I never imagined this. Now I'm kinda... conflicted about the whole thing. I get that. Anyway, I should get going. Hey, Sawa-sensei? Look, I know I can't keep you off campus. I don't have that kind of authority. But would you please stop bothering me? Can you at least tell me what happened yesterday? Enough! How many times must I repeat myself? Hey, Tsukumo? It's me. You think you could pin down where Mikoshiba's body was discovered? Of course. In fact, I can do that pretty quickly. Why? Did you want to go there now? That's the idea. Okay, but do note that it's been a few days since they found him. The police may have already scooped up the evidence. Yeah, but I want to check it out anyway. Then I can decide if it was a waste of time. <laughs> In other words, you've got a detective's intuition? What a superpower to have. Okay, here we go. They found Mikoshiba's body in an abandoned building near Sakura River. It's near a small park. On the second floor of the building, specifically. The first floor is just a bunch of empty boutiques. You're the man, Tsukumo. Thanks.
can't stay down. Suspicious.
Hello? Anybody here? Coming through. Now where exactly was the body? There's gotta be some clues that'll give me that. These burn marks? Suspicious. Hey, suspicious. Suspicious. there state your name and purpose uh well get some backup over here hey now wait a second can we maybe talk this out put your hands up and turn around who are you and what were you up to takayuki yagami Yagami Detective Agency. Yeah, in Kamurocho. Weren't you the guy at Serio yesterday? I could have sworn I saw your face there. Huh? Maybe? The name's Watanabe. Kanagawa PD Division 1. Charmed, I'm sure. This fella here is Sakurai. Sup? So, you think barging into a crime scene was a real bright idea? What? I thought you guys were done here. I figured I could take a look around. Uh-huh. What? You wouldn't happen to be working with Genda Law, would you? Huh? You hear on Shirosaki Sensei's business? Saori Shirosaki, right? The grouchy one. Okay, how'd you know? Well, it started when Mikoshiba's body turned up. Once our investigation kicked off, we found out about that pervert cop in Tokyo. It seems he knew where the body would be. But when we went to go see him, HQ pumped the brakes. They said no interviews on this one. Much to our amusement, we ended up being directed to Shirosaki, the perv's lawyer. The being that Genda Law Office is in Kamurocho, and you're a Kamurocho detective working your case. That means either the two of you are connected, <laughs> or I'm really losing my touch. Well, you've certainly got my number. Now that you know, how about taking these cuffs off? <laughs> Smooth, but the jury's still out on you, pal. First, you got any thoughts on all that? On anything specific? The part about HQ locking us out of interviewing a horror smart guy. 
Here we are with a material witness who, it turns out, knew about a corpse rotting away for two months. And those Tokyo chuckleheads just shut us out. Balls even for those tight asses. Ahara was Tokyo PD, so wouldn't they want to protect him? They probably want it handled discreetly. Nah, if only it were that simple. This isn't about protection. They get burnt real bad if they tried to bury this shit under the rug. Besides, then at least this cop a nasty creep. He's got ties to a fucking murder. If another prefecture blows the lid on that, the top brass may as well kiss their jobs goodbye. Heads would roll. They've gotta wash the shit stains off their laundry to keep their asses clean. Yeah, I could see how that makes sense. Anyway, so HQ told us their boys would look into Ahara. What we had to do was hand them our notes on the murder. Can you believe that crap? Like hell we're gonna bend over for them. But look where that's got us. Now nobody's interrogated Ahara. Are Kanagawa and Tokyo PD really fighting over who gets the credit? Don't tell me they're that petty. <laughs> like you wouldn't believe. While the higher-ups play intel hoarding games, Ahara is just sitting pretty. Shit. The cop's supposed to be chasing down the perps. Instead, here I am with my hands tied, bitching to a P.I. So I'm your therapist now. I was gonna take you down to the station and put the squeeze on you. But if you're a half-decent detective, maybe we could collaborate. Oh yeah? I mean, you came all the way from Kamurocha to sniff around here, right? I highly doubt you found much. But tell me something I don't know and maybe the cuffs will fall off. You proposing a deal? Depends on if what you've got is worth making one. Okay, how about this? What the hell? Hiro Mikoshima. Was this taken here? Right before he died? Where did you get this? What kind of shit you trying to pull? I could tell you better with the cuffs off. <laughs> You're craftier than I thought. Fine, let him loose. All right, let me get this straight. Right before you met up with this Serio High teacher, a strange woman showed up with this photo. Yeah, I couldn't get a good look at her. But it seems whatever threat she made worked. Sawa-sensei wouldn't say a thing after that. Sawa's the one who supervised Mikoshiba for his student teaching program. I know that. So, this woman you're talking about must have had it in with the culprits. You know, they were working in a group. That's quite a revelation. What makes you so sure about that? Sakurai, show him the photo of the body. And spare me the protocol lecture. I'm sick of this going nowhere. If Hotshot here is gonna look into Ahara for us, we may as well take advantage of it. You're the boss, Nabe-san. Miko Shiba was last seen alive two months ago, October 7th, 6.30 a.m. He was talking to his mother as he exited their house back in the city. Since there were no other sightings of him, it's likely he was abducted a short ways from his home. This had to be done by vehicle, as common sense would tell us. So there must have been at least two suspects, a driver and a handler. If it were me, I'd have put three on the job. So that's why you figured it was a group effort. Sounds logical to me. Mm-hmm. Now, according to the autopsy report, they found food in the poor guy's stomach. Based on how digested it was, we can assume he was killed at least an hour after breakfast, putting it around 7.30. And not long after, he was brought here. His throat was slit with a knife. Get all that hot shot? What was our friend Ahara doing at that time? The old perv was walking through Ikebukuro's ticket gates around 7.43 a.m. This was stated in court and corroborated by multiple security tapes. 
But if that's true, he couldn't possibly have killed Mikoshiba. It's 30 kilometers between here and Ikebuguro. Yeah, that's the meat of his alibi. Yet somehow, he knew Mikoshiba's body would be discovered two months after his arrest, despite being in custody the whole time. So there's no doubt he's connected to the killers. If we can just put the screws to him, he'd squeal. Damn it, HQ! Why the hell are we out here working the site if it's already been picked clean? All right, Nabe-san. Deep breaths. Yeah, yeah. But do you see why we've got to get someone in to talk to Ehara? Hell, beg Shirosaki-sensei for a visit if you have to. HQ can't say squat about his attorney visiting. What you said raises some questions of my own, about the crime scene and the body. Oh yeah? Ask away then. What was the victim's cause of death? The news called it a massive hemorrhage. Yup. They slit his throat and let him bleed to death. After tying him to a chair, the killer stood behind him. And lifting his chin with his left hand, his right hand slit the knife. Sounds like you guys have that bit on lockdown, huh? It's one of the few things we're sure of. How narrow is the window for Mikoshiba's estimated time of death? Based on how digested his breakfast was, he was killed somewhere between 7.30 and noon on the morning of October 7th. Pretty impressed you can narrow it down like that with a two-month-old corpse. Yeah, well, the window gets much bigger if we consider the possibility that the killers forced Mikoshiba to eat. At any point after the kidnapping, they could have made him eat a typical Mikoshiba family breakfast. It's possible. All they had to do is make him say what he usually eats. Good. We're on the same page. Now, if we take into account the decomposition of the body, Mikoshiba's estimated time of death actually ranges from 7.30 a.m. on October 7th all the way to the end of that month. So about three weeks. Three weeks? That's a massive gap. Can't we narrow it down further? The body's just too decomposed to do that. But expand the time frame all you want. Ehara was in custody through the whole thing. So we couldn't have done the deed. Right. He spent two months behind bars. Hate to think a different crime got him such a strong alibi. In any case, someone else killed Mikoshiba. And if we could just get in the same room as him, we'd know who that is. I noticed the burn marks on the floor in the shape of an arrow. What's with that? Somebody lit flares here. The ones that shoot red smoke. It was only a matter of time before the fire department got called, and they're the ones who stumbled on the body. Pretty obvious the culprit set up a smoke signal to make sure the body got found. They probably had the timing all worked out with Ahara so he could predict the body's discovery from maximum impact. And that's exactly what he did just as the judge handed down the sentence. What would be the point of that, though? <laughs> For all I know, he just wanted to blow everyone's minds. What shape was the body in when it was found? Full of maggots and decomposing bad. His hands were zip-tied behind the chair, securing him in place. The cause of death was the throat wound. Before that, they really worked him over. Rough way for the guy to go. Damn. They even broke all his fingers. On both hands. That sounds... painful. Fucked up, right? I'm guessing a professional did this. Could be Yakuza, could be Mafia. Take your pick. We've got some guys checking that angle out too, just to make sure there's no stone left unturned. Doesn't this place have a manager? I'm sure it wasn't always like this. There is a property owner. He's been around Ijinsho forever, but the building's been deserted for two years. 
Apparently, there was a padlock to keep the homeless out, but it was long gone by the time they found the body. Broken by the killers, most likely. Has the murder weapon been found? No. There were no weapons at the scene. A real shame. There'd be some decisive evidence. So when you said it was a knife, was that a guess based on analyzing the wound? I wouldn't call it a guess. The coroner outright stated that the weapon was a sharp, knife-like instrument. I think I'm starting to get the picture here. That should be it for questions. Tell me, you detectives out in Camarocho always this hands-on? Sorry, what? I'm saying you guys were quick. We had barely set foot in Serio High, and you already had the run of the place. Hell, you even closed in on that Sawa Sensei and got a meeting with her. I was just lucky to have been there on another case. Is that right? What? What's wrong? Somebody's spying on us with binoculars. No shit? Three men, 30s probably. The one with binoculars is wearing a black jacket. My number's on my card! Yagami! Hey, wait up! Hold up! Damn, Hotshot. You're quick on your feet. Tell us here why this fool had eyes on us. He claims he just wanted to see the scene for himself. It's true. Ask the other two guys with me. They'll be here any minute. So you were here gawking, is that it? <laughs> Better than busting in like you own the place. I thought that was water under the bridge. So, who are you? Why'd you run? I ran because I saw a cop jump out a window and charge at me. Are you saying you'd stick around if you saw that? <laughs> he thinks you're a cop. Should we get you a badge and a hat? I'd be honored. Do you have any ID on you? Uh, will my license work? Okay, okay son. Age 30. What do you do for work? Oh, I'm just a professional pencil pusher. Biotech. Planning and management. Are your other two pals biologists too? No, uh, one's an investor and the other's a consultant. We all went to high school together. Says here you have a Tokyo address. What brings you to Yokohama? Oh, well, I'm organizing a class reunion. 
in Chinatown. So I came to scope out the location in advance. This ain't the way to Chinatown, pal. No, oh, we thought since we came all the way to Yokohama, we might as well peek at the crime scene. <laughs> Pretty morbid idea, isn't it? <laughs> I suppose. What high school did you all attend? Uh, Kurakawa Academy. A private school in Tokyo. Hey! Over here! Only we'll to verify your buddy's identification as well. I suggest you all cooperate. Nabi-san! All right, you jokers are free to go. Appreciate you being so civil. Guess that settles it. We're just dumbass rubberneckers. <laughs> Tough break, huh? Draw you in through chasing them down. I don't mind. I'm out to always swing for the fences. Yeah, well, your strikeout was pretty amusing. The guy who goes down swinging is all right in my book. Now that that's settled, give my regards to Shirosaki Sensei. Hope you get some dirt on Ahara soon. Excuse me. Does that mean... Enough is enough!
Yep. Hold on. I owe you one. Hey. <laughs> nah. Gotcha.
Excuse me. Oh. Excuse me.
In other words... Hmm... I see. <laughs> uh. 